Hello and welcome to this Backwards Compatible Comics video. Today we'll be looking at Ape Sapien issue 21, written by Mike Bignola and Scott Alley, with art by Sebastian Fiumara, sorry, and colours by Dave Stewart, and also letters by Clem Robbins. I think uh, Max Fiumara and Dave Stewart are also responsible for the cover. So, um, quite a small little team produced this comic, and it really yeah, it's a very, very cohesive and brilliant series. So something about a Sapien is that you know it's from the pages of Hellboy, but um, because it's called kind of Spawn out the BPRD, there is obviously that um, that Mignola verse principle behind it. But this is it's a bit difficult to say, but this is a um, well, it's my favourite one of the series. But it's definitely really one of the best series out there. So it's definitely worth reading. So uh, we've we reviewed uh, issue twenty one um, about a month ago. So this is uh, the the continuation of that. So um, we're looking at um, a mixture of things. Obviously, Abe um, is is on his own but he's with a mixture of humans but what we're looking at this is the uh arag best i think is the name art a r b o g s t r b o g s t is the is the is, is a man who's been at the head of a cult he's been collecting children but under the and there's something it's been related to um to haitian voodoo so as you can see um, from the images at the moment you've got some you've got the the um you've got the undead or you've got dead people uh, and um, bongo drums and the sleek elixirs and things like that all in the aim of trying to raise them to fight against the monsters and things that are attacking this world now obviously because that's kind of put onto the front cover you can see um, it's about to come up but you can see the fact that Abe is about to go there you go that's the, that's the image Abe gets to have a little bit of zombie fun in this now there's something about the artwork in this one where you see Abe really um, Abe is quite a menacing looking character anyway now we know him um, for the person he is in the fact that he is actually gentle but when you see him he does look quite quite aggressive and quite scary in some ways but that's one thing that um, Fumara does brilliantly with the art in this episode is when he does need to push Abe he really does look a bit on the scary side but also he he the the action scenes are absolutely amazing because again you have um, Hordes and Abe going crazy well Abe being able to fight so there's something um, a lot of the action is quite visceral there's uh, plenty of, of, of character blood floating about the place um, as you can see even on this page but it really does end up being a really strong finish and there's a, there's a few twists and turns through there though but as the as the series has gone on uh, Abe Sapien really has become one of my top picks um, for the for the, for the month basically for every time it comes out so it really is is a great little story um, as you can see from the artwork as well, you've got a mixture of panels, shapes, sizes, so everything's there to draw your eye, keep you going, keep you moving. I've got it on both physical and digital. Uh, physical's definitely, uh, physical works better. Um, I just think the colours are that little bit stronger, but again, I would not hesitate to jump onto this in digital form or whatever, because so, it is... Um, still a wonderful issue to read but again don't start here maybe look a couple back um even even the last one number 20 probably is the better place to start just because it really does explain a lot about the background of what's happened with abe in the last few years so i'd say uh 21 is a definite buy 20 as well but i think you could start around there obviously it'd be better to go back to the beginning but i think 20 is quite a nice jumping on point and 21 is a bit of a hard-hitting continuation of that so definitely worth a read um Lovely. Thank you very much for reading um, and do take care.